human bites. Human bites are common and they tend to occur in any setting or any type of uh, age and they can commonly occur on the face or hands but any part of the body some other parts that commonly uh, present with bites or breasts and genitals and like I said they can occur in any age oftentimes they can occur in kids that are playing or sometimes in uh, bar fights this can occur and the bug that lives in the human mouth is known as Ikenella corrodens and the risk of infection is actually quite high and can go on to cause things such as cellulitis if not appropriately treated in terms of a diagnosis really it's just a good history and good physical exam history meaning who actually bit the person was it an animal or was it a human and the physical exam um, looks to see if there's any damage to other parts of the affected area such as tendon or bone or a joint if there is then of course you have to consider other serious complications in terms of the treatment of a human bite wound care of course is very important and the dead tissue is debrided but an important uh, point to remember is this is uh, not done for certain types of wounds and one example is a puncture wound and the reason is because there is a risk of causing a deep infection if you were to do that if you were to debride a puncture wound most of the wounds are actually left open for human bites you don't need to suture them but one very important part of the treatment is of course antibiotics and there's two main choices there's an oral choice and then there's an IV choice the oral one is amoxicillin clavulinate and this is given usually for about five to seven days and the IV choice is ampicillin sulbactam now let's take a look at a few vignettes six-year-old girl is brought to the emergency department 10 hours after being bitten on her face while she was playing dog with her friend two girls were on the ground with the family dog laughing growling and biting the air when all of a sudden the patient felt a sharp stabbing pain on her right cheek she ran to the mirror and started screaming when she saw blood on her face it all happened so fast that nobody is exactly sure what happened the friend but not the dog had blood on her mouth the dog and both girls are up to date with all vaccinations physical exam shows a two centimeter laceration on her right cheek surrounding tissue is tender you expect the infecting organism to be well if the friend had blood on her mouth then this is a human bite and in the human mouth the bug that lives is Ikenella corrodens now some of these other bugs what are they acquired from well brucella is acquired from animals for example goats and sheep francisella tularensis comes from rabbits pastorella multocida comes from animals such as dogs and cats yersinia pestis interestingly comes from a rat flea next question a three-year-old boy is brought to the emergency department three hours after being bitten on the hand by another boy at the daycare center the child's mother is frantic and wants to sue the center for allowing such behavior the child is up to date on his vaccinations the other child is very healthy and his vaccinations are current on physical exam there is a puncture wound on the right hand you gently clean the wound and consult with the hand surgeon who says that there does not appear to be any damage to the nerves muscles tendons or joints of the hand the most appropriate next step is close the wound with a suture well this is not done for puncture wounds so that's wrong the next one obtain a wound culture it's not really necessary it's not really going to change anything in terms of the treatment provide ampicillin sulbactam that is the correct choice uh, ampicillin sulbactam 
is um, given IV. Another choice would be amoxicillin or amoxicillin clavulinate given PO. Send him home with a follow-up appointment within 48 hours. That's incorrect. And choice E, vigorously irrigate and debride the wound. Um, that is not uh, done for puncture wounds because if you do, there is an increased risk of causing a deep infection. So that one is wrong. So the choice for this question is choice C.